I have used the uh, classic trompe l'oeil method, which is fool the eye, and it creates the illusion of three dimensions. And then I have various uh, icons, and uh, of course it's entirely uh, uh, about Christianity and the symbols that I thought appropriate. Brenda Council is an artist whose work is on display worldwide in centers of finance and commerce, in educational institutions, private homes, and galleries. Recently, Brenda drew upon her own spirituality, as well as standard Christian imagery, to create two three-dimensional murals for the Grandfather Home for Children in Banner Elk, North Carolina. The focus of these murals is to generate spiritual thought and inspire hope, redemption, and healing for children and young adults. Both murals focus on the strongest symbol of Christianity, the cross. They appear to be three-dimensional by manner of trompe l'oeil, which literally means fool the eye. The circles represent eternity, Gold never tarnishes, denoting the eternal spirit of Christ. A second cross is central and appears carved. Notice the golden links are attached and embrace the chi roi, a symbol used since the beginning of Christendom. The ancient scroll image identifies the Old Testament and Hebrew characters. This is meant to proclaim the prophecy, the coming of the Messiah and the promise of salvation. These eternal words are rising, glowing, and enveloping the world. They also indicate life unfolding. The segments of scripture pronounce the act of nurturing and shelter, and they complete the verse and appear as part of the overall theme in this piece. The children of God and adult figures are superimposed on the rainbow, signifying all races and the everlasting covenant that God made after the flood in the Old Testament. The children are joined together with the light of Christ at their fingertips. The transformation ends in the opening to eternal life through a path of healing, forgiveness, and redemption. The circles signify an eternity with a break through the wall. This proclaims the power of faith that can remove all obstacles and hindrances. Christ's burial shroud is languidly discarded and completes the resurrection. The sparks of faith hover above and cannot be extinguished. The butterflies remind us of the resurrection. Through their metamorphosis, they emerge more beautiful and powerful than before, as is the hopeful path of the children who enter and will leave Campbell Cottage. The cross returns as a central focal point in the other mural. Brenda has used trompe l'oeil to lure the viewer into the painting. The left side begins with the Star of Bethlehem signifying the birth of the Savior. A circular shaped break in the wall is expressive of God penetrating the soul, removing all obstacles and boundaries, and this represents the gathering strength of those who believe. The Bible is rimmed in gold which cannot tarnish. It richly proclaims the written word and the twelve disciples who spread the good news. The Bible is connected to the chalice which floats and levitates above, signifying holy communion, forgiveness of sins, and pronounces, My cup runneth over. The river of living water relays purification, cleansing, baptism, the rebirth of faith and the promise of everlasting life. The rock is steadfast and symbolizes God as the immovable foundation, solid and stable. Once again, Brenda has framed this narrative inside a circle. The right side continues with references to biblical verse that resonate colorful imagery. Grandfather Mountain, forms the familiar silhouette evoking a mighty yet peaceful image. The physical world is denoted in this and the Creator's gift of the natural and earthly glories that surround us. 
A sunrise or sunset inspires the beginning and end of each day and the rhythmic cycle of life that God created. In the foreground, the lone dove soars above and bestows the Holy Spirit upon us. The grapevine endows the viewer with the everlasting vision translated in words. I am the vine, you are the branches. He who abides in me and I in him, he will bear much fruit. Notice the detail of the vine breaking through the stone with indomitable strength and the light radiating from within. The viewer is met with a profusion of abundant fruit of the vine, made ripe and perfect by great care, nurturing, training, and attention. Brenda chose this imagery to promote spiritual growth and continuity and the infinite rewards that will follow. Observe that the vine attaches itself to the cross, reaching up the most delicate new growth, taking hold, headed towards maturity, and eventually bearing the bountiful reward that is possible within this guided path. And lastly, the stair steps to heaven, which lead us to the ethereal manifestation of a ladder to heaven, recalling and embodying Jacob's dream and the reference to that ladder. Brenda included this highly metaphorical image. She wanted to communicate simply, God is the way, and the ascent of humankind to heaven is only possible if one participates in accordance with steps, the guiding principles and ordinances of the gospel to reach the top and final step into the kingdom of heaven. Trompe l'oeil may mean literally fool the eye, but through Brenda's work, it also can mean satisfy the soul.